What's up, YouTube? It's your friendly neighborhood rank number one Xbox AOE4 player. And this is the very game that if I win, I will be the first Conqueror 3 in the entire world on the Xbox. We are 1599. We need literally one more point. So assuming I gain a point this game, if I win, we will be the best in the world on the Xbox. So... Mother. We're gonna go for it. We got Twitch chat here Let's around go. going along for the ride. My opponent is playing as the Abbasid. Bama's best. Alabama's best, presumably. Uh, Alabama is a state really known for their uh, competitive RTS players, along with their barbecue and the college football. So we'll see how this works out. Playing the Abbasid, we're gonna open up with a house in a mining camp here we have seven on food we'll do three on gold fourth villager will build the house of wisdom if i don't get conqueror three i am going to uninstall completely queen clean wipe okay so we're on marsh Ottomans, I really should scout what he's doing. Honestly, as even if he is rushing me though with this map, with Marsh, if you guys didn't know, Mar was it Marsh or Marshland? Marshland. Uh, oh my gosh! You press Y for your, all your villagers to garrison, and can we kill him? Uh, did we get him? I think we got him. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, you press Y to get in, and then X to uh, ungarrison. That's what we just did there. Nice little trick. Okay, we're going to build our House of Wisdom, which is how you age up with the Abbasid Dynasty. And our next villager. Uh, we'll go food, then we'll go with wood. So you want to you can age up around the two, th two minute, 30 second mark. Now, on Xbox, I'm usually a little bit slower, and it ends up being like 235, 240. Depending on what happens. We'll see where we age up here. We'll see. But I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying playing the Xbox version, if you have been playing it. I love my AOE 4 edition Xbox Series X. It is the coolest thing ever. I wish they sold it so you guys could get your hands on one of these bad boys because it is so sweet. Okay, we got the auto queue on. See, like, on PC, I'd be aging up right now. There we go. It's like forcing drop-offs. Okay, we're going to go with the Culture Wing, which is usually the wing I've been choosing these days, quite honestly. Almost every game. I really just like it. You can do Military Wing, you want to be really aggressive, but Culture Wing just is a... Like, you can be aggressive and, like, get some great texts at a, a discount, the preservation of knowledge. I really like it. Okay, we're going to grab some of our villagers off of food, and they're going to go to wood. You only need to keep four on food in order to keep villager production uh, going. And we're going to go for a second town center. That'd be a goal. We'll go for a second town center. Now, typically I would open with military, but a lot of the Ottoman players on Xbox haven't been, like, pushing as fast as you typically might see. I'll need to scout him out to make sure he isn't, like, coming for me. Okay, I got 150 gold. That's what I want there to get a few upgrades. I'll leave, like, two on gold. Yeah. Let's go scout his base. I really should have scouted his base earlier, quite frankly. Nope, that's not even not where you want that. You want it right up against the gold, or the stone, and you want it to be like right on the side. You don't want to put it on the corner. Okay. So now, we are gonna macro between wood and stone for a second town center. More TC, more villagers, more fun. Uh-oh. Um, I didn't check to see if we killed a scout. I almost lost mine. Okay, so... Let's see if he's on stone. We'll circle on the backside. So the Ottomans have a military school which auto trains units. So we'll see if he has one. Okay, next we'll go to wood here, gold here, stone. Rather. So I'm continuing to get just a little bit of gold because I'm going to get a few upgrades here. I want to be able to be prepared that if I do need to start making like military you know, and doing some upgrades, I can afford it. Because Ottomans can push really heavy. But okay, we're in the second age. I'm going to go ahead and get preservation of knowledge which is on the way we're also going to drop down a house to the grid so we can get our uh okay he has the one military school looking at the stone he's gathered i think he does where is it he's got enough stone for one 
It looks like it. Yeah, so we're trying to just get our uh, golden age. So you need 10 buildings. You see it down the, right below me here? This is how, you need 10 buildings to get the golden age. So that's what we're, we are working on at the moment. He hasn't aged up yet, so I'm really not nervous about a big rush. Is he making like a forward base or something wild? He's trying to shoot me. <laughs> okay, but I think we should be good. Go here, second TC. And then we will age up to the castle age, because I don't think he's gonna rush me super heavy. Now, if I saw scouted that he had military schools early, he was really coming the big rush, I would have opened with like uh, probably a bunch of archery ranges, maybe some barracks, and just defended and turtled up. Um, was what I would have recommended. Ah, oh, there are too many on stone, honestly. We're gonna drop this TC uh, on those deer down there. So by the time we walk there, we should have hopefully the uh, the wood that we need. Now I'll put my new villagers onto gold. Okay, and we now have. So what do we need? You want to set it like right in the middle of the uh, deer, like that. Okay, I need one more building to get a golden age. That could have been my town center if I had planned this a little better. But it's going to be fine. You can get your golden age by like 5, 5.30, typically. Oh, I should have made a mill. That would have got, that would have, would have been enough. Now the deer is going to be the fastest gather rate you can get is the Abbasid because you can't go for the uh, you can't go for the boar of course as the Abbasid dynasty um, now you do get berry bonuses so you want to build your mills next to the berries because it actually buffs them look how see how it says 350 food out of 250 because the civilization bonus for the Abbasid dynasty okay and we're going for those precious deer try to get them right next to the town center Okay, and I want to get the, uh, I should have got fresh food stuffs already, but that makes my villagers cheaper. I should have got that a little sooner, but is what is. Okay, he's in this, let's see what he's up to. Where did he ever build that military school? I really don't know. Should have been scouting him more, to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and get a wheelbarrow because we're going to have some extra gold here. So I could have been scouting him here and then like looking if he had military instead of like going for the town center, second town center, I could have just gone. Uh, I could have gone for some military buildings or you can go straight for a naked fast castle if they're just really doing nothing and spam Ghulam. In this case, it actually might have worked out to be honest because he's playing really slow paced. Like, okay, there's his military building. But that's his first one. So I'm like, I'm not nervous. He has like what, a spearman or a spy. Um, and this blacksmith speeds up the production of these free units, but by the time he gets units online, I'm gonna be in the second age with two town centers. He's on one town center. I'm gonna have more resources coming in, and I'm just gonna outspam him. That's really all that's gonna happen here. So this is pretty much GG, the way I see it. Um, and we'll age up here. And just a second. Oh, I accidentally ran past town center. Hey, you wanna be active with your scout? Keep him alive. Okay, military wing, when I hit the next age, it'll give me camels. And I'm going to start getting some wood. Actually, I actually have a, quite a bit of food. I'm going to throw these guys on wood. Because I want to build a bunch of barracks. Because Ghulam, our man at arms, our unique man at arms, it, uh, they're good against unarmored units, which if he's still in the second age, all he will have is unarmored units. So it will be very nice. And so I'm going to try to get some barracks built here while we age up. Need a lot more wood. Macro has been a little bit over. It's honestly on the Xbox version. It's not uncommon to to over over macro on a resource, whatever. Like it, it's going to happen. It's not going to be as perfect as on the PC, but it's okay. You kind of learn like where it's important to like you know have con have that consistency. Like the important thing here is like I get my barracks down so I can start producing units. Like. I float a, little something, float a little something here and there. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to get my uh, wood gathering upgrade because it is cheaper because I got the preservation of knowledge. And when we hit the next age, we can start spanning golems. We can start getting ranged armor so we can fight better underneath the town center. And then you can start collecting these relics with monks or imams uh, at the mosque. And then in that case, 
uh, it'll generate passive gold. Okay, so I haven't seen anything from him yet. Let's see how many buildings he's made. Okay, I really have not been aggressively enough building these barracks. I'm gonna slap some villagers on this real quick to get it done. I usually make one stable. Okay. And we're gonna have food there. Do that. Let's finish building this stuff and then I'll queue up all my units too, basically. Just rally to their base. Simple as that. Nothing to it. We'll get a blacksmith so we can get some ranged armor. I could go straight for a mosque instead, but I just want to end this game so I can get my Conqueror 3. We got Ghulams queued up. We've got some Lancers queued up. It'll be fine. Definitely not my fastest... Uh, you know, what did I build there? <laughs> Definitely not my fastest uh, castle age, but it's kind of my fast castle. We went 2 TC into it. But it uh, worked out. Put these bills on gold. Get arranged armor. Okay, he doesn't really have like anything. Oh, he's got a lot of stuff, but he didn't attack me. He's been sitting in his base. That's not gonna really matter when when we show up. Now he did just go into the castle age, so he could that that's gonna give him some. Yeah, this could be a game here. He's guys gonna have some. Uh, he is going to have some siege probably soon, assuming he went up with the siege landmark. Yes, he did. So that's a good strategy. A really strong strategy for the Ottomans. I'm gonna be careful not to lose my knight to the spearmen. Because they're expensive. I try to micro the ghulams onto them. A lot of villagers on wood. Um, let's put them on stone so we can think about a keep drop here eventually I'm gonna go kill his scout he's kind of watching me but yeah look at the damage we're doing these town center like he just can't get his units fast enough now he is gonna get some free units so that's something to consider here uh, he does have some Janissaries which are gonna be problematic but we're just trying to just do dam do do economic damage now, unlike a lot of other civilizations, Ottomans are still going to be producing even while they're idle because of the fact that they've got their their military schools. Okay, this is going well. Uh, I'm going to make some imams so I can start grabbing some of these relics. I don't know who's going to build that, but... And I'm gonna get boot camp, which will give my infantry some additional HP. Did you get this from the military wing at the House of Wisdom? I could make rams, but right now I'm just busy on just I'm like I'm focused on idling him. That's my goal. Like he is very idled right now, so he's not gathering resources. So he won't be a major threat. Okay, we got our first monk. Let's go ahead and grab a relic. You can just right click on it actually in the context menu and say collect relic and then the nearest monk will go for it, which is really, really cool. In fact, so he's still completely idled. I'm not too concerned. This should be a done deal, hopefully. And he taps out. Okay, let's see it guys. That should be our ticket to Conqueror 3. Let's see if we just became the number, the first Conqueror 3 in the world. The highest rank you can achieve in Age of Empires 4. With the, my patented Ghulam Rush. You could do this strategy. It's really good. You can go straight for the, the naked fast castle. It'll work against a lot of people. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good strategy. We did it, guys! We did it, lol. Let's look at that full, beautiful logo. We are the world's very first Conquer 3. Rank one, there it is. 1606 is the number to beat all you gamers out there. Thank you so much for watching. If you did to this point, you probably liked the video. So hit the thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more AOE4 content. You know we've got some new civs on the way, and you'll learn about them here first. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.